Hey everyone, this is Adam Walker. I am Vice President of Engineering at Diamondback Firearms. And in today's video, I will show you how to field strip the Diamondback DBX. First off, uh, as you should always do anytime you're going to work on a firearm, I'm going to put on my safety glasses. Uh, then also some other tools that you may need, a small hammer, a punch, and a punch block. So the first step, um, obviously it's going to be to clear the firearm and make sure there's no ammunition in the near vicinity. So the magazine is empty. There is no ammunition in the chamber, so the firearm is clear. Next I'm going to close the bolt just to make sure it doesn't close on my fingers uh, inadvertently. Then I'm going to uh, take my punch and knock the takedown and pivot pin, uh, knock those out to the other side. And I will mention that these pins are going to be tighter than uh, you're probably used to on an AR-15. And that has to do with the way the barrel assembly is uh, constrained within the assembly. Uh, basically, the, the way it's designed, it puts the, the upper receiver in a preloaded condition, which makes these pins a little tight. So we're going to use our punch and attach the takedown pin free, move to the pivot pin, knock that one free. At that point you can separate your upper receiver assembly from your lower receiver assembly. And there's not really anything to field strip any further than this on the lower receiver assembly, so we're going to just place that aside. For the upper receiver assembly, the next step is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, to remove your handguard. So if you can see at the front of the handguard, there are two uh, roll pins there. Um, those need to be slid forward enough so that they clear their retention fingers on the upper receiver. And again, this is um, kind of tight because it's what constrains the barrel in the upper receiver assembly. So just take your hammer, <clears throat> tap that forward until it clears, and then it becomes loose and you can just lift it up and off. Nothing to disassemble further on the handguard, so we'll just set that aside. The next step is going to be to retract the bolt to the rear and engage the bolt catch. So we will do that. Slide to the rear, engage the bolt catch to hold the bolt open. Then I'm just gonna pull the charging handle out uh, just be careful not to let the bolt close forward while you're doing that. Um, just going to set that aside. Then I'm going to turn it around so you can kind of see a little better from this view. <clears throat> if you look in the back, uh, there's a, a window. You can see the head of the action spring guide rod. And if you put your finger on it and push, you should be able to feel that move fore and aft, maybe an eighth of an inch or so, uh, under spring force. So what you're going to need to do is push, push the head of that guide rod toward the muzzle end, um, again about an eighth of an inch, and hold it in that position. That allows the action spring guide rod head to be clear of its seat pocket in the upper receiver. So just hold that forward, grab the barrel assembly about where the gas block is, and just sort of <clears throat> rock it a little bit until you feel it start to rise up. Then another important thing here is as soon as your action spring guide rod clears its seat, you have to be careful to maintain, maintain control of that because there is a lot of spring force on that. And then just pull it out to the rear. That's your action spring guide rod and action spring. You don't need to disassemble that any further. You can just uh, set that aside. Once your action spring and action spring guide rod assembly is out, you can simply lift um, pretty much the rest of the components out of the upper receiver. Then just separate, <clears throat> excuse me, just separate your bolt carrier group from your barrel assembly. And then your bolt catch is just sitting loose on the 
<clears throat> on the barrel assembly at that point. Then you also have your bolt catch spring sitting in this pocket that's in the upper receiver. Just set that aside so you don't lose it. And at this point, your DBX is field stripped um, to the point of cleaning or maintenance. So you don't need to take it apart any further than this point. Um, so that's pretty much it for this part of the video. Uh, in the following video, we will show you how to reassemble the Diamondback DBX. So again, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you found it helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Diamondback Customer Service, and we'll see you next time.